Okay, we, we got a beautiful installation here. We got the most minor of things that we've been looking at. Um, we uh, inspected the cowling and we did see just a tiny bit of contact in a few spots here and here and over there. And then we looked in the top cowling and we also saw a little bit of chafing. So those are just things to be aware of that the engine should not touch the cowling anywhere because um, the engine is rubber mounted. So any kind of uh, metal to contact, a metal to cowling contact will transmit vibration into the airplane. We, yep, we had a little bit on that top hose. We'll get that taken care of. The other thing is uh, very minor because this is a beautiful installation with excellent wiring. A um, couple of minor things like making sure that we have clamps that hold the cables after they leave the terminals, uh, particularly cables that go to the engine since the engine is vibrating differently than the airframe. Uh, same here with the alternator, nicely done with the boot and protected. Uh, but we would want to secure the cable to the engine before it leaves the, air uh, the engine uh, and not to the um, other side of the rubber mount because this and this vibrates at different frequencies. Um, one thing, one way is to route it maybe up here and put put a um, tie wrap through here, or we've also sometimes we can you can drill a little hole in two places right here and tie it to there. Maybe just tie it underneath here, but it needs to be tied. Uh, ideally, you know, some people don't like tie wraps and uh, or tie straps or whatever they're called. Uh, and want everything to have a nice ADAL clamp and I'm kind of in favor of that. So if there's a way to maybe, you know, put a longer bolt in the alternator and then put a clamp on there to hold it or whatever way you can come up with <coughs> when you install your engine, anything that leaves the engine and goes to the airframe uh, should be <coughs> strain relieved at the engine and also at the airframe. Exceptions would be things like a rubber hose because rubber hose is very resilient and uh, that's why it's a rubber hose. Uh, very nice installation. <coughs> We've got a catch tank here for blow-by oil. Airplane has 30 hours, there's no oil in there. So his system is uh, working well. He has the, the new um, breather cap <coughs> and dipstick tube here and uh, is then also running a hose from there across and down to his catch tank that he had room for on the other side of the firewall. Beautiful installation. Um, none of these videos are meant to pick at anybody's workmanship because this is very nicely done. Um, we want everybody to just learn from each other and um, uh, so that's why we make this little video.